Kia ora. I call the Honourable Member Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise to speak with pleasure for the third reading of the Mount Monganui Borough Reclamation and Empowering Act Repeal Bill. I would like to lead us away from that dark place where the member who's just resumed his seat has taken us. Um, thank you for that lesson in Tiko. Um, you know, a member and indeed a party well qualified to speak at length about such matters. But let's move on from this, move on from this movement and uh, go instead to the substance of the issue. Yes, we will be passionate about it, passionate about it uh, Morris. Um, when I was on the select committee that, uh, that heard the submission on this, when Colin Reader, the chairperson who came to us on behalf of Ngā Potiki Tamapahore Trust, and Christine Jones as well, who's the chief executive on behalf of the Tauranga City Council, when they came to speak to us about it, it became very apparent why the sponsoring member for this bill, Te Ururoa Flavel, who is to be commended, and I join the chorus of approval, uh, for the Member of Parliament who brought this bill, because uh, this government is certainly in the business of repealing legislation which has no use, and this is a classic piece of that. But it is also putting to right a, a very great wrong, and as my colleague the Honourable Dr Nick Smith said earlier, in the days back in 1972 when this whole project was conceived, those were different days where we had a different attitude towards the waterways and the estuaries. We didn't acknowledge or understand in the way that the Tangata Whenua do that these are precious places that need to be protected. Uh, instead, we treated landfall, sewerage and so forth as something that we had a right to discharge and expel into our precious waterways. And I feel that we have learned as a nation a lot from uh, what Ngā Pōtiki have told us about this because when they talked about the Kaimawana and when they talked about the, the need to have these pristine waters preserved, they were ahead of their time in terms of the Pākehā listening to them. And in 1972, when the Mount Monganui Borough Council proposed this wastewater scheme, they didn't really think too carefully about the ramifications of it. Uh, the construction of the oxidation ponds, uh, and that was the, the ponds, of course, from where the effluent was to be discharged, uh, was, was discharged directly into the Rangatatawa River. That was a very bad thing to do, and they continued to do that for a length of time. Uh, the ocean outfall was constructed at Papamoa. Uh, that is a wonderful, pristine part of the world, or it used to be. Um, and this discharge was supposedly only going to occur until the ocean outfall was constructed. But as it was always going to be a temporary measure, it dragged on for rather a lot longer than that. And I think that the, the Kaumatua are to be commended in their persistence and in their integrity. And many of them who are not able to be here today, I think, are to be congratulated and commended on their forward thinking and their tenacious move to continue to encourage people to see that uh, the, the Kaimawana and the, the waters needed to be preserved and protected. I think we have all learned a lesson, and we have... Um, I I think, and I understand that they're, they're here in the gallery somewhere, and I think this is uh, a commendable time for you to come and, and please pass on uh, our thanks for your contribution to New Zealand having a better attitude towards our environment and for the way we need to treat it, because we have learned a lot from you, and I know it has come at a considerable cost. Uh, and I think when I heard the submission um, from Colin Reader on behalf of uh, Ngā Pōtiki, I understood how difficult it would have been for that fight to have continued. The Council was not always so open to the things that you said to them. But I think now this bill is the embodiment of a better attitude and a higher tolerance that, that, that is now present between the tribe and be, between the council. And I hope that when this is repealed, as it will be today, uh, that, that, that that will go into a brighter future. And I commend you on the stand that you have taken, because it took courage, it took a lot of time and effort, and uh, I think that as a nation we have benefited from it. And certainly in your own area, uh, things will now be restored and returned, and I hope that the repeal of this ridiculous, well, this, this now useless piece of legislation will go somewhere Way to uh, healing the hurt. So um, I commend you for all the work that you have done and to the sponsoring minister of this, or to the sponsoring member, I should say, to Ururoa Flavel for bringing it here. And uh, yes, make the man a minister, said Parikura. It may happen one day. Uh, but I, I commend this bill to the House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I call Mike Saban. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr.